Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with another exciting episode of Yo-Kai Watch for the Nintendo 3DS. We're continuing our walkthrough and we are on our way to our friend Eddie's house after a long while. So here we go, let's continue on with the story. Hopefully you guys are excited for the series. If you are, you know what to do. Smash that like button and share the video with a friend so that they too can get on board with this awesome Yo-Kai Watch train. Here we go. So I've been playing a lot. As you guys can see, I have 17 hours clocked into the game and I'm not even halfway done, which is pretty cool. Uh, so where are we? Just exactly where are we? Oh, okay, okay. So it's nighttime. Um, actually, what I was trying to do earlier, I was trying to catch some yokai named like, I think his name was like Shmuppy or something like that. I was trying to catch him off screen, but uh, we're not going to worry about that for now. I, I didn't get him. But I did get a whole bunch of other yokai off screen while I was exploring around a bit, and I'll show you all of them in a little bit. But let's just, oh my, as... <laughs> As I almost get hit by a car, which is a usual thing over here because I don't really care too much about uh, traffic laws and I'll jaywalk all I want because that's the fun of this game, right? You can do whatever the, whatever the heck you want. Uh, why? Because yokai is why. Done. All right, I'll show you some really cool yokai that I got and you're going to be amazed. I've been like playing off screen so I can kind of revisit areas and like kind of grind a little bit in order to get the yokai. I have this, like, unsatiable urge to collect them all, kind of like Pokemon, I gotta catch them all. Uh, but anyway, let's take a look. So, uh, as you guys can see, I got Happy Air over here. I managed to catch him off screen, which was very nice. Uh, I'm gonna go over to Collect It, and I'll show you some really cool dudes. I backtracked a little bit, I got myself a Riff Raff, which is cool. I got myself a Peck Pocket. I got this thing, uh, Drizzle, he's a B rank. Um, I caught him in the, um, the under underground area kind of in the new area where we're going. Um, I got Slush, I got All Hail, I got Ilu, which is not like Ilu. No, this is Ilu, not Ilu. There's two different ones, there's two different colored ones. I got this guy, oh my goodness. I was just looking in a tree, a B-rank tree, and bam, we get Sing Keda. Now I'm not really sure how Sing Keda evolves, or um, Nin Keda, or Kaden evolves into, what's his name? like. I don't even remember. Anyway, I also got uh, Happy Air, which he's pretty good because uh, his ability is Air of Happiness. So uh, if you guys have played um, Pokemon before, it's kind of like a super move in which it gives everyone leftovers. Or it, it recovers HP gradually over time, which is pretty cool. So he's not really a, an attacker. He's more of a healer, which is awesome. So I need to keep him on my team. Um, Castellius 2, you guys have seen. Um... I got my boy Cheek Squeak before. <laughs> I got myself a Nagatha. Uh, and more. I got two of these guys. Chansin, I got. Not really sure what I'm gonna do. I got a Bablong. I got two of them. Tentroni. I got Droplet, Negative Buzz, Mosque Evil, Blocade. I got a bunch of dudes. So, yeah, we're ready to go. Uh, these are the guys in my team right now Wall Kappa, Komasan, Jibanyan, Q Pistol, I'm kind of using to catch more yokai with. Happy Air and Count Cavity. So, uh,. These are the guys who I'm kind of going with. So, yeah, that's the team. Welcome to it. All right, uh, what else is happening? Really not that much. Let's go say hi to Steven. But I've got that rare uh, Caden evolution just out of nowhere. He, I threw some food at him, and he just joined me. It was awesome. So anyway, we're going to move on. Uh, let's go. It's going to actually be right up this way. Okay, moving on, going over to Eddie's house. I keep on wanting to call him Steven for some reason. I don't know, subconsciously. All right, here we go. Uh, now Steven's house, or Eddie's house, is right over this way. Now there's some really strong yokai um, in, underneath cars in this area. They're B rank. As you guys can see, my yokai watches lighten up whenever I'm near a car. And I'm, hopefully I can show you guys right off the bat so you guys can attempt to catch them on your playthrough of the game. All right, here we go, here we go, right here. Uh, he's some sort of ninja, or some sort of samurai that is like really, really strong. Okay, so here he is, and I wanna catch him so bad, because if I catch this guy, he's gonna be so strong for my team. If, if in case I want like an all out yokai attacking team, this guy, Benkei, he's got this large scythe, he is like super strong. Uh, let's take a look at Benkei. What does he need? B-E-N-K. Oh, he likes Chinese food, that's right. And I'm not really sure what Chinese food, uh, oh my, I gotta give him something. 
I don't know if I have any more. I gave him deluxe ramen. I gave him everything ramen once. Ramen cup pork ramen. He liked, um... Pork? No, he, he liked... What did he like before? I forget what he liked. No, he didn't even like that. He doesn't like ramen. He likes pot stickers, but a small amount. So I don't know what other kind of item we can give him in order for us to, um... I guess continuously knock him out or allow him to join us. So Wallcap is going to do some work. Um, we're going to inspirit our good friends. Actually, Happier doesn't even need to attack. I don't need him on screen. I just want to show him really quick. So Count Cavity, this guy's loafing. We'll see if he joins us. I don't know if he will. Um, Komasan does a huge blaze attack. He is super strong. Komasan, oh my goodness. He is so good. Okay, so here we have it. Uh, let's see, does he join us? He gives us a Warren Bangle. No, he will not join us. I fought him at least ten times off screen, and still nothing. So uh, we're gonna try one more time. Um, oh wait, what the heck? Really? No yokai nearby? Under the same car? <laughs> what? Why? It must be a sign. Okay, here we go. Let's see. He's kind of slow, so he's easy to catch right over here. But befriending, man. I've got Q-Pistol on my team, and Q-Pistol's ability is supposed to allow these people to be more friendly towards us, so... We'll see. We'll see. I'll just give him another Chinese food-related item. I'm not sure what, though. What's considered Chinese food? The ramen's not, apparently. Uh, slab of bacon, Chinese food, yellowtail... I really gotta go back. I'll, I guess I'll try to give him a ramen cup. Pork ramen. I'll give him a ramen cup. See, he didn't even like that. If you see a little heart come out, then that means that uh, he likes it, so... Alright, Jibanyan does 40 damage every- Ooh, man, but see this guy, he does some crazy, like, slashes. Alright, so there we go. So his speed is gonna be down since Jibanyan knocked him out. One, two, three, look at that! Are you joking right now? Alright. Okay, come on. I'm just doing this kiss of life to get Jibanyan some health back. Alright, here we go. Good job, Jibanyan. Alright, let's move on. This will be my last time. 999 blades. Hurry up and attack him. Oh my goodness, that would have been scary to get hit by. I don't want to even mess around with that. Okay, leveling up a little bit. Good work. Large Exporb. No way. Okay, this guy's not gonna- he's not gonna join us. I'm- I'm just gonna stop hoping. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Here's my friend Eddie's house. Let me just ride my bike up these stairs. For some reason I can ride my bike up these stairs, but not any other stairs. Hello, Abdallah. Glad to see you can make it. Make yourself at home. Edward's room is upstairs to the right. I'll bring up some treats for you two later. Have fun. Oh, great. Thanks. Head up to Eddie's room. Okay, as if that wasn't obvious enough. Thanks, game. You can tell me to head up to Eddie's room, but you won't tell me where the abandoned cave is, or where the shopping mall is. Nope. I'm still mad about that. Hey Abdallah, what took you so long? I've been waiting for you. My dad just gave me a couple museum passes. They're gonna expire soon. How about we go together? The museum? Sure. I know you might not be interested in all this educational stuff, but you might benefit from getting a taste of the culture. Do you think? Girls love cultured guys. They do, don't they? Of course, that's what my dad says anyway. So you're in, right? My mom's making me do some chores first, so let's just meet over there. A museum ticket. Okay. Ooh, there's a Tyrannosaurus Rex on it. Awesome. I wonder what exhibits they have up at the museum right now. Uh, it looks like you'll have to wait a bit to play Eddie's new game. Yeah, I'm not too worried about it. Let's go to the museum. Okay, so museum time. Okay, no, it's not time to go snooping around in Eddie's house. We'll save that for later. Alright, let's get my shoes. Let's go. Okay, Breezy... Why was there an exclamation mark? Oh, just to open the door? Alright, uh, Breezy Hills, uh, we are gonna go for a ride to the museum. Alright, we're gonna ride in the middle of the street because we have the right-of-way in uh, Breezy Heights or Breezy Hills, wherever the heck we are. All right, here we go. This is a museum. Obviously passing up some rank C yokai in the trees over there. Okay, Gourd Pond Museum. All right, well, where is Eddie? 
I don't see any. Oh, oh, he, it must be this way. All right, here we go. Ooh, Tyrannosaurus, no way. Hey, Abdallah, I was starting to think you were gonna bail on me. Check it out, a skeletal model of the T-Rex. You like dinosaurs too, right? Yeah, sure, fossil fight is frontier, remember that? <laughs> you know about the meteor crash and how the dinosaurs became extinct? Dust from the crash blocked out the sun and changed the ecosystem. Huh? Huh, you really don't have any interest in, in info like this, do you? Just imagine what the world would be like if they hadn't gone extinct. I'm gonna check out some of the other exhibits while we're here. Okay, so now this is uh, level five games uh, cramming uh, information into us. Where it's a learning game now, and we're gonna learn about uh, dinosaurs. Oh, and here's fossils, even more, or maybe not. Uh, I saw it's in a textbook, but maybe it's just a replica. I'm not sure if we'd be lucky enough to have an original here. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to tell a difference. I'm not too big on history anyway. I dig science way more, but to each their own, I guess. <laughs> hey, I wonder what's over there. Okay. Oh, you can look at this up. Precious jewel was once worn by an ancient queen. Look at this, this is like a sword. Hello. There are a lot of gold accessories. I wonder how much they're worth. All right, so let's go run and find our friend. Well, it's a gigantic hand. What is this, like a... Some sort of senses area? That's a big... Whoa, is this probably a big purple turd? It's a golden plunger. Why is it there? <laughs> How about this guy? Hmm. Hmm, indeed. It's rotating. Sure is. I don't get this stuff, but maybe people love it in the future. Uh, you mean people in the future will love it, or people now will love it in the future? I believe what Eddie meant to say was that great minds are often at the forefront of vision and innovation. Countless famous artists were often not at all appreciated in their time. See, look at the form here. It's really quite interesting. I don't get it at all. Yeah, me neither. I think we could hit up most of the exhibits. Let's head out. Yeah. Okay, um, well, these are some exhibits. That's weird, that's a fish. That's a little star with an eyeball. That's like an anime picture. What is this? This is cool. Alright, even more cool stuff. I don't recognize anything. It's a giant hand. That's a can of soup. Okay, that's kind of like pop culture reference there. The museum. This is interesting. Okay, well, uh, I think we're heading out of here, right? There's probably like an easter egg. I, this is exactly where I'd hide an easter egg if I were level 5 games. Put like a um, Professor Layton throwback or something like that. That would be awesome. No, I don't... Oh, Egyptian. Cool. And a gigantic medallion. Oh, this is actually kind of cool. Alright, let's move out. Okay, talk to Eddie. Alright, hey Eddie. Okay, Eddie. Uh, let's see. Man, that was fun. These are the kinds of smart hobbies we need to make girls like us. I really hope my dad is right about that. Unfortunately, I couldn't find what I was looking for. What was that? Well, there's been a weird rumor around uh, going around the museum lately. Something about one of the items on display moving around on its own. Ooh, it could be a yokai at work. Uh, what do you think uh, about a suit of armor moving on its own? I think it's nonsense. I saw it. It looked like it was glaring at me from across the room. Oh, well, okay, I mean, if you saw it. It was so creepy. Hmm. Okay. Did you hear that? There's a hot tip I was hoping for. A moving suit of armor. Imagine what secrets could be hiding inside it. I read a magazine article about these parapsychologists the other day. They tried to use science to reveal and explain supernatural phenomena. Uh, if stuff like that exists, I want to see it with my own eyes. Ah, here's a yokai. <laughs> so that's why Eddie was so excited about visiting the museum. It wasn't about getting cultured so girls would like him. Not totally, anyway. I want to know more about the suit of armor, too. It could be a yokai. Hey, uh, will you come with me, right? Uh, if it comes out at night, I figure uh, we can cover more ground together and prove supernatural exists. Sure, of course. Gotcha. Gulp. Great, let's meet up in front of the museum later on tonight. Deal. Okay, meet Eddie at the museum at night. Let's do that. That sounds like a plan. We got 15 minutes. Uh, let's see how far we can get. Okay, so now we need to go all the way back home. Uh, I actually think it's a new day. We actually just jaywalked across there. We were lucky we didn't get wrecked by that one dude. 
Uh, I mean, bring it on, Snartle. I don't care about you. Um, I want to actually go back all the way up to the Gachapon machine and redeem some of my coins. But it looks like there's a favor out of this kid. I used to think I was cool, but I'm not sure anymore. There's definitely going to drop my status. I got to do something. Okay, how are you going to be... Oh, you want a Hermes badge. I have one. I have an extra one. Maintain the cool. A Hermes badge is pretty decent. There you go. Okay, and what happens? A new badge, I'm sorry, but did I ask you for something? Oh wait, now I remember, here's a real Hermes badge. Okay, he'll be the coolest kid in his preschool. Actually, uh, the way to being cool in preschool is if you climb on top of the, the roof of the school and slide down with your eyes closed. 600 experience points for that. Wow, that was really good. And we get a bonus scene. Oh, ooh, nice, nice. Did we make it? Okay, that's a bingo. I don't know how that one looks when it's a jackpot, because I think each of these little animated skits has three ways of doing it. You can get the, the boo, which is the bad one where you don't get a bonus item. You get a, a bingo where you get a small bonus item, and of course you get the jackpot, which is a huge bonus item. So I saw that we got a large x -borb. Oh my gosh, come on, let's go. Alright, I do want to see what we get out of this gachapon machine so bad. I look forward to every day that I can use the machine. I was kind of sad that you can only use the machine three times a day and I'm sitting on a bunch of coins. And then this is the area where I wanted to catch that yokai too. Oh, here I want him. You know what? I saw him. He's over here. This is him right here. His name is Shmoopy or something. Come on. Oh, here we go. Yes, him. He's a very cute little raccoon or something or squirrel. Alright, let's see... Where are you going, buddy? Come here, bud. Okay, and then his name is, I think it's Shmoopy. S-H-M? Yeah, yeah, yeah. S-H-M. He likes hamburgers. So, since I have Hapier, and I have, um... He's just one Smoopy. So let's, let's bring these three guys. Uh, I'm gonna throw my best hamburger at him. This is a Nom Burger. This thing costed me, and it's pretty rare too if you find this in the burger shop, so I'm just gonna give it to him. A Nom Burger, here you go. Yes, eat it and join me. Do, do wishes, okay. Now see, I'm having Q Pistol on my team right now. So by having Q Pistol here, hopefully I'm not gonna change her out, so her skill should be able to make this yokai join me. All right, come on, Shmoopy. Shmoopy. Oh, there we go. Shmoopy's a very cute yokai. All right, please join me, Shmoopy. It'll be the best day ever, because Q... This Q pistol is not really working for me. Her abilities are kind of lame. Yes! 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 Got him! Let's be friends. Okay, become friends with Shmoopy. Heck yeah! I like Shmoopy. Ooh, and are you the charming variety? Yes, he is charming. Good. See, this is way better than Q-Pistol. Get Q-Pistol out of here. All right, we got a new yokai. Okay, you can view this medal in your yokai medallion. Oh, we got Shmoopy. This is a yokai that I was looking for and I mentioned at the beginning of the episode. That is so cool. Oh, wait, what? There's a yokai over here. What? What is this? Hold the phone. Hmm. This is an NPC. It's Komasan. What are you doing here? Komasan. Hello. Oh, my swirls. You caught me. Uh, you knew I was transformed into the statue? You gotta stop. Nobody will give me offerings anymore. I'll give you this, so please keep it a secret. Really? 20 bucks worth of a doll? Get out of here, Komasan. Where's your brother Komajiro at? Alright. Uh, I'm actually gonna swap out Q Pistol right now. Okay, so we want collected. We want this new guy. Ooh, Shmoopy! We're going to set him to exactly where Q-Pistol's at. Yep. And then let's equip him with something. So, just analyzing him. Okay, so his attack is garbage. So, he doesn't need attack. Um, Heartstring tug, yes. And okay, this is this guy's way better than Q Pistol. I'm gonna keep Smoopy. Okay, so I can actually keep 
Schmoopy instead of Happy Air because he's got the restore technique and he's got, you know, yeah, he's better than Happy Air all day. Okay, so he's carefree and gentle, so he likes healing other people, uh, and he will loaf around a little bit. So let's equip him with something. Uh, give me something that will um, boost up his, um, I guess, spirit. No, I don't want to use the illusion ring. Give me something that'll minus attack. Something that'll minus his attack. I don't know. I don't really have anything that minus his attack. Plus speed, minus strength. Yeah, there we go. That's cool. I'll give him a Hermes badge. So there we go. So he doesn't really need strength because he's going to be recovering everyone. And speed will definitely allow him to uh, recover a little bit faster. So awesome. And I don't necessarily need Happy Air. So that was cool. Happy Air, thank you for <laughs> being here. I actually want to use who? Oh, my little guy. Where are you? Where's Baku at? Here we go. Uh, we're gonna set you instead of happy air. Okay, looking good. And just taking a look at my guys, uh, I have all charming in a row. Yeah, I got all my charming in a row minus this uh, devil. Or the other dude. Okay, we're set. This is looking good. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's do this. Oh yeah, we were gonna do the offerings, right? That's why we're all the way up here. Man, this game is so easy to get sidetracked. It's it's really fun, though. Okay, here we go. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Let's. We are going to use a coin. I've got a couple different coins. Ooh, mysterious coin, hefty coin. Unpleasant coin. Ooh, I don't know. I'm going to try the yellow, the orange, and the blue. All right, let's go yellow. I'm just, like, finding these all over the place, so... Hopefully we get, like, a, a yokai teammate. That would be really awesome. Or, like, a super rare item. Okay. <sighs> okay, that's a heavy sigh right there. Pretty upsetting. Orange coin it is. It's a hefty coin. Come on. What do we got? A, blue, a red one, okay. Lead balloon jumped out. We're gonna be friends, right? I won't let you go if you say no. Lead balloon. You don't sound like a lead balloon, sure. I'll take a lead balloon. I'm kind of curious as to... Oh, okay, so maybe he's the evolution of... Um, that what a blowcade or whatever his name is? Lead balloon. Cool. It's one less yokai I gotta hunt down. Give me another, like, S rank yokai, please. We're gonna go blue coin. Lead balloon. Oh, there's a blue one. That's like a great ball or a master ball. Contrarioni. Nice. I will take a contrarioni. Because, uh, what is there? There's suspicioni. Something Oni, Pepperoni, and Contrarioni. This is cool. Yep. Pepperoni is one of them. It's the red one. There we go. We got the blue, the red, and the yellow one. Hmm. Okay, I think we're done. We got ripped off, and we got two good guys. So that's really cool. So this thing's going to disappear. I really wish that wasn't the case, but it's whatever. Contrarioni. I want to see these guys really quick. Man. So many things to do in this game. Contrarioni, rank B. Okay. Lead Balloon, rank D. Schmoopy! Lead Balloon, I thought he was going to be like super rare, but I guess Contrarioni is like even more rare. But you get all these yokai at level 1 too, so that's um, that's something to think about. Whenever you get like a super rare one, it's like at level 1, so then that means that you got to raise it all up again. So that's why you may want to hold on to your EXP orbs until you're actually going to use them. 
All right, so here we go. I am going to continue moving on out. We need to make it nighttime and meet, what's his name, in front of the actual uh, museum. Okay, making it nighttime, meet him in front of the museum, and then ending off the episode. Because, uh, like I said, I do want, I would love to make super long episodes, but I want to make them all like half an hour long because not everyone's watching the videos till the very end, and that's not good. So we're going to make them bite-sized, like kind of like the episodes on the show, right? The episodes are like, what, 22 minutes apiece? 20 minutes? All right, here we go. We are almost home. The other day, while I was just riding in the street, I got one of, like, the, ter the Terror Time minigames, where you go through and, like, the giant red devils after you. The Terror Time minigame happened while it was daytime, which was really weird. I thought it only happened at night, but I could be wrong. Now, we are going to sleep until night. I'm really excited for this Schmoopy guy. I really hope that he's going to help us out. Because he seems to be, like, the, the yokai that's going to um, help us out. Oh man, Schmoopy. I like Schmoopy a lot. I really want to know. Apparently he does evolve, but he needs some sort of like uh, fusion, I think, in order to evolve him. I'll have to take a look at my uh, yokai pad later. All right, here we go. Moving on, moving on. Okay, and we are gonna go meet Eddie right in front of the museum. The Night at the Museum. This is exactly like that movie. You guys see that movie? That movie was pretty cool. Okay, what took you so long, Abdallah? Well, I had to catch a yokai, and then, well, it's too much. I'll, I won't explain it. Come on, let's get inside. Uh, we won't be able to get in through the front door, though. Let's split up and look for some other way inside. Hmm. Find a way inside the museum. Hmm, could it be right over here on this side entrance? What is this? What's up with this mirror? It's giving off an aura, Abdallah. There must be a yokai! Find any points of entry? Huh? What are you doing just staring at that old mirror? Eddie, nothing to see here, dude. Move along. Does that mirror have a little ditto smiley face on it? Whoa, was this? Did you see that? Okay, a teleportation mirror. That's not weird. Oh, where are we? Hmm, we seem to be somewhere inside the museum. Impossible, we were just outside a second ago. I mean, I just experienced it, so it obviously can't be impossible, but how did that just happen? It's almost like some sort of wormhole. People go through walls, uh, quantum tunneling, so maybe. I was trying to use the walk through walls glitch earlier. Man, this guy. Okay, so, Eddie, what are we going to be doing here? We're looking for a suit of armor that is possibly a yokai. Hey, Whisper, yokai did that, right? I would think so. It must have been a Mira pose doing. Mira, Mira po. Okay, uh, they can move things uh, through mirrors in an instant. Humans see items that become yokai as their regular items they once were. So that mirror we saw in front was actually a human. Bleh. Ah, look at this thing. It does have a ditto face. There it is. My name is Mirapo. I'm the museum's yokai in residence, so to speak. I teleported you here because I wish to ask a favor of you. It seems to be in trouble. Let's lend it an ear or four. This museum has been experiencing a strange phenomenon recently. A display piece wanders around nightly, making dreadful noises. It has awoken me every night, and I do so treasure a good night's sleep. I suspect that it might be a yokai. However, mirrors such as myself are rather fragile. I don't dare to stop it. Indeed. Trouble by a mysterious yokai sounds like a job for us. We should help protect it and its uh, protect its home exhibits, Abdallah. For sure. We basically got into this mu museum on some sort of astronomical flute. Fluke. The door is still locked, but somehow we got to find a way out. But uh, that's for later. Let's figure out what's up with that armor. Uh, I didn't see a suit of armor when we were here earlier, though. It's probably in the vault. That's where the undisplayed exhibits are. Museum security seems to be controlled by that device there. I'll see if I can bypass the protocols and disable the security measures. How about you look for a key to the vault while I do that? I've never seen Eddie so motivated about something non-bug related. Let's work with him to find Yokai and protect that museum. We'll need to find a way to steer clear of all the security in place. Leave that to me. 
Okay. You'll have no tr trouble if you make use of my power. We can move through the museum the same way we got in. Mirbo teleports us around, finding the key will be a cinch. Sounds good. Okay, so it looks like we gotta find the keys, uh, vault, key, or find the museum's vault keys. So, let me let me pose this question: How would a museum, which is a usually a government establishment, right? How would this have security so lax that a young little kid can go over here and hack the system, and there'd be a key to the vault somewhere just laying around? <laughs> All right. Anyway. So, what we're going to do on the next episode is we're going to figure out this little puzzle over here. Of course, it'll be very fun. Um, yeah, sorry for the cliffhanger, but that'll get you guys more motivated for the next episode. Yeah. Okay, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. By all means, if you enjoyed the episode, smash that like button and go ahead and subscribe for even more Yokai Watch in the very near future. Help us hit as many likes as we can and as many comments as we can. And of course, if you want to help out even further, you can check out my Patreon page where you can help fuel the Nintendo content and get your name scrolling through the credits. That way. There. There. Yes. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, loads of other yokai content coming your way, so stay tuned. Until next time, bye guys.